Hello, Keiko here, and welcome to the chaos. Let's go. First of all, we're gonna do though is the wishes because we've always got to do the wishes. So I did test out the characters. Rumia is quite fun, as in I like Rumia better as like a character. However, she is a pyro bow user, and she has to be. I think see, there are terms for these things like main DPS, sub DPS, support. Do I know what they mean? Not really. But the point is, I think for Yomiya, you need to use her, like, she has to be your main character. And I just, it doesn't work with how I play. <laughs> because I have Ayaka right now, and I think my end goal will probably be when Nahida is sufficiently ranked, I'll probably swap them. I'll have Nahida instead. But um, Nahida's just not leveled up yet. She's up to level 60 now, but I need to fight a lot of um, the plant cubes <laughs> in order to uh, ascend her. But anyway, so yeah, I think she needs to be played like on the field. She needs to be like your main playing character for her to work properly. And I just don't, I don't work well with bow users either. So I think instead we're gonna do Yamiko, um, who is, she's quite fun. Um, she does a lot of electro damage. So I think if I manage to get her, she'd be good to go with my, it, like my little plan that's going to be like Nahida, Yao Yao, and then Yelan. I think she'd be good there. However, I don't know if I like her enough to spend all of my monies, especially because I know that like Kazuha's coming next. Do I think Kazuha fits my playstyle? Probably not. But everyone says he's like the best character, so <laughs> you can't just not try and get him if he is the best character. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wish for Ye Miko until I get Kiara because I think she's quite fun and I, I want her. <laughs> so if we we use this until we get her, and then probably stop. Maybe, depending on how I feel. <laughs> and then save most of my wishes for Kazaha next time. Anyway, that's the video idea. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with what are these. Hopefully, like maybe, maybe I'll get lucky. Okay, it's purple. <laughs> Hopefully, this is not a weapon. Oh, Chongyun. I didn't have Chongyun, so that's good. Anything else good, or are these just... Just weapons? Ooh! That's new. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. I see. Okay, well... I guess I have Chongyun now, so now the only one I need is Kiara. But that is for the next stream, because we gotta, we gotta space out the wishes. <laughs> gotta, gotta build the suspense. So let me, let me have a look at him, where is he? Oh, he's all the way at the bottom. Do I have any materials for you? I do not. Oh well. Uh, what does he? What does he do? Okay, cryo damage. Uh, oh, AOE cryo damage, and then this. Oh, okay. More AOE cryo damage, and then some other stuff. Okay, what's this? Ooh, it's good for expeditions. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Um, yeah, I guess I will just... It feels bad to just give him nothing, so I'm just gonna give him something random. Um, have a thing. I need to check my artifacts. I haven't checked them in a while. I should probably do that. Have another thing. Um, you know what? Have a thing. Have, have one of these. And then, I don't know, have this. There you go. He's got something now. <laughs> and let me see what that new weapon was. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay. Um. Okay. Increasing normal attack damage by forty percent, but increase charge attack damage by ten percent. Huh. That'd probably be good if I used a bow character as my main, as my main damage. But I don't because <laughs> that's what Ayaka is for. So not super useful, but. I don't think it's going to be as good as the bow Yelan already has, so yeah, that's just going to say it's fine. That's going to be okay, we're just going to ignore that then. <laughs> um, let me see, cryo, I'll do you one better, I have cry damage, I just cry sometimes. I mean, <laughs> I see what you did there, I see what you did there. Anyway, okay, so, we're going to do Raiden Shogun part two. No, no, I forgot, we're going to do the quest. I, I messed up that we're starting with this quest. So this is the the mine quest. So if I'm remembering correctly, which I may or may not be, <laughs> it's a solid maybe there. Um, what we were doing is we found the mine. The mine was a bit dodgy, as in it has a lot of energy there that 
is bad energy that's just been like escaping and it's partly the Fatui's fault for messing with it. And we set up some beacons and then we gave him something else and then we put down the beacons and then we collected the beacons and then he was analysing the data. <laughs> okay, uh, finally at long last it is done. Fortunately I remember these specifications. Uh, so we're going in to purify the Tashrigami energy then. Well, as much as I would love to get in there and wrap this up, we must not act so rashly when faced with the Tashrigami. Moreover, some of the required materials I simply could not find, so I had to make do with some last minute substitutions. The result being that reliability of this device is somewhat... Hmm, well, let me just say that I, in some circumstances, it may not achieve the desired efficiency. Wait, that doesn't say efficiency. Efficacy? It can be used normally just fine, yes, but I doubt that it can withstand any accidents. The slightest jolt will likely knock some of the components out of place. As such, we still require a little more preparation before we can put our new friend here to work. I'd like you to go near the Mikagi furnace and record some data for me. Okay. Thank you very much, I'll be waiting for you here. Okay, take a picture of the situation at the furnace. Okay. Okay. This, though, I hate this place because... It always- wait, why am I on fire? Why am I- where did the fire come from? I am very, very confused. Okay, well, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over there and try and grab that, um, lightning plant thing. I think it's the Sakura because if, uh, if I don't, I'm going to most definitely suffer from the, um, <laughs> effects of the lightning. So we're gonna get that and then we're gonna come over here and take a- oh, we need to- get the camera. Okay, where's my camera? Camera? Camera! Okay, so, we got the camera. I forgot it takes pictures instantly. Was that? <laughs> okay, no, it didn't work. Is that, is that it? No? Wait, what? Did I use the wrong camera? But this is the camera. Why are you not... I'm so confused. Does it not want me to take a photo? Am I not getting the right angle? Is that the problem? You know what? Maybe I'm in the wrong place. I'm gonna try and get the other one. No, yeah, because maybe I'm like above or below it? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna try that again. I'm gonna... No, I'm definitely navigating towards it. Okay. Right. Well, maybe... Maybe this one's gonna work. Well, I hope this one works. Because... Oh. Uh-oh. Well, this is... Not great. Okay, so... We're gonna try and go... This way? And maybe it's gonna... Maybe it's gonna work. Maybe. Solid maybe. Um, okay, I think this thing is supposed to reduce the effects of the... Hmm, I don't know if it did it or not, but anyway, so here we are. Will you, will you take a photo? Okay, that one worked. Um, these guys spawned though, you know? Oh, rather foggy image. Great, that's always good. I can't believe I took such a low quality photo. <laughs> it's so upset with me. But that's fine. Um, oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have fought these guys. I wonder if I could just run away, but they sort of appeared in such a way that it kind of looked like it was on purpose, like part of the quest, as opposed to just like random. But maybe it wasn't? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's go get. Wait, I wanna he healed up. I can't bother. <laughs> We're just gonna leave and uh, hope for the best. So. Okay. Uh, Ayaka is not doing so great, but. That's fine. We're gonna grab one of these. And then we're gonna... Nope. Yow yow. We're gonna put yow yow there. And then we're gonna go over here. And then we're gonna try this again. Okay. I took a photo. Is this not... Maybe it wants me to be up. Okay. We're gonna try going upstairs. Now I know that this lift works. We're gonna... <laughs> you have to just wait for the lift to work. Otherwise... It doesn't work and so we're gonna see if it's up here maybe because that's my other guess if it's not up here then i have no idea where this thing is let me see what oh okay let's no oh no the lift went back down how come 
when I tried to take the lift last one time, the lift just wouldn't come. And then when it did come, it wouldn't come back down because I missed the lift. And this time, I was too slow getting off the lift. <laughs> oh dear, okay, okay. This time, well at least it was quite quick taking me back up again. So, <laughs> okay, I got off the lift this time. Okay, so it says lower by 41 meters. So it is down there. Why would it let me take a photo? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why won't you take a photo? You know what, I'm just gonna take a photo from like every angle. One of these has gotta be right, right? Like I'm literally on the spot. Why don't you work? No. I think we already... Is it like up? <gasps> oh, I think you did! I had to look up, no wonder it wasn't working. Okay, well now we've solved that problem. And now I know. You gotta... <laughs> you gotta be careful. Okay, let me see what you said. Um, efficacy, the ability to produce a desired or intended result. Ah, huh. I see. I did not know that word. So yeah, now I do, now I do. You learn something new every day. <laughs> um, okay, uh, it, is, it is a beautiful environment. However, it's also trying to kill me, which is unideal, <laughs> unideal. Okay, go versus lift, who will win? Usually the lift. Yeah, it is usually the lift. I don't know why I'm so bad at lifts. It just, <laughs> I don't understand. Like they're just very simple. You just get on them and they go up and down. But for some reason, it just doesn't work. <laughs> okay, uh, so have you scouted the situation out? That I have. Yeah, have some, an image showing the lowest level of the furnace. Who knows what you can glean from it. Oh, a somewhat clear image, rather foggy. An image showing the area around the foggy furnace. Okay, yeah. Great, let me see. We're in luck, it seems. The Mikagi furnace is quite stable and the energy within is not yet oversaturated. At this level of concentration, my device will still hold out. Do we need to purify all that energy? If this device could do that, why well, I would have applied for a patent long ago. But a fine friend here can only decrease the energy level in a localized area. However, the reason for the deactivation of the Mikagi furnace and the failure of even its auto restart program is the high saturation of Tashigami energy. As long as we find the area with the highest concentration and purify it, we should be able to restart the core. At that point, the Mikagi furnace should restart, and beyond that point, any further issues will not be our concern. That's the plan. Before we execute it, I still have a few final preparations to make. Okay, but he's done for the day. Um, and then, who's the other one? Oh, hereafter, the trail of Pervasius. So we're gonna go see Pervasius. Well, we're not, we're not gonna see Pervasius, but we're gonna do something to do with Pervasius. And you need to talk to Chef Mao. And I needed to do this because I wanted to talk to Chef Mao to buy some like smoked ham from him and I couldn't do it because it was a trigger to quest. <laughs> so we're going to talk to him so I can buy my ham because, because I really want to buy more ham. And Chef Mao is the only person left who still has ham in stock. So <laughs> we're going to go and talk to him and hopefully it'll be... I'm kind of curious because Pervasius was an interesting fellow and he's also gone. So I don't really know what we're going to do with that but um yeah hopefully something interesting anyway hello chef mao what would you two like uh three servings of grilled tiger fish to go please you got it hang on for a moment they'll be ready soon three servings one for you one for paimon who's the last one for uh, oh we could go see pervases we're gonna bring him some fish yes because he didn't he say that that was his like favorite food i think he did well that's nice uh, you mean gave us the seven star lamps and scents for Vases? Oh, that's right, he did say he missed the tape of grilled tiger fish. But isn't he gone anyway? Uh, even so, we can still pay our respects. Yeah, that makes sense, let's go see him then. The last time that we met Pervases there, the temple was in a pretty sad state, and there were treasure hoarders in the area too. Let's hope this statue hasn't been defaced. The three servings of grilled tiger fish, hold on to them now. Ooh, these smell so nice, come on Keiko, off to our next stop. Oh, that's nice, I think we're just gonna... Go and uh, pay respects to him. However, I do want to buy my ham, so I'm gonna buy my ham while I'm here. Because, you know, you gotta buy some ham. Okay, let me, yeah, I only have three ham. Now I have 13 ham, it's a lot better. Anyway, we're gonna go, where is Pervasive? Oh, okay, 
Oh yes, he was next to this teleport waypoint. That was near the hole that I fell into last time. <laughs> so we're gonna avoid the hole this time, hopefully. Um, and yeah, let's let's go see what we have to do. Reds, okay, down here. Oh yes, it's this thing. Okay. I'm just gonna weep. Aha, grab some eggs. Okay, oh, Xiao's here. Why is he here? Hello. Does he want the tiger fish? Uh, why are you here? Are you here to see Pervasis as well? I was just passing through. What are you two here for? Uh, we're here to see Pervasis. Oh, but this place is such a is as in as much of a mess as last time. There's a temple here and a statue too. Why doesn't anyone come to maintain this place? Um, perhaps this has been forgotten. How could people forget something like this? The Yaktas are heroes who defended Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Xiao, are, are you angry? No, the Yaktas did not perform their duty for any form of recognition. Eh, let's not talk about this stuff right now. Grilled tigerfish first. And if you want to have some Xiao, we can give you half of our share each. Uh, it's fine. Help, help me. Oh? Uh-huh, did you hear that? There's someone calling for help. Oh, he disappeared. We just left Paimon then. We just... We just let is she is she coming? <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, what about the grilled tiger fish? Paimon hasn't eaten yet. We we gotta love Paimon. Someone's in a crisis, and Paimon's just like, you didn't feed me. I'm not I'm not coming with you. And where's my food? <laughs> Which is honestly kind of a mood. We we love it. But we did take the fish with us, Paimon. So if you want to get the fish, you you gotta follow. Oh yep, yeah, she's followed. She wants that fish. <laughs> Okay, where are we? Save the person in danger. Okay. Oh! Ah oh, yes, I see. There are exactly two herd shells here. Um, oh my gosh! Is that... I think that's the uh, the fake... The fake Yorkshire from last time. Was his name Wang... Maybe it isn't. I don't know. He got the right clothes and I feel like his name was Wang Ping An, but it might not have been. Uh, thank you, oh mighty Deptus. Thank you, mighty hero. Oh, what are the odds we meet again? You know us? It is the guy. How can I forget you? You're I Wang Ping An. Don't you remember me? Ah, Star Snatcher. Ah, what what Star Snatcher? Please, let's bring that up. Not in front of the Adeptus. I was just getting ready to make an offering at the Temple of the Yaksha for Vases. Not long after I entered the mountains, I was set upon by the treasure hoarders. Thank you for saving me. Those were Hilla Chul. Treasure hoarders? Huh? Because I saw some treasure hoarders in the background. Are we gonna have to get rid of them too? Now, wait a moment. What were you doing? Going to do at Pervasis' temple? Were you planning to do something bad to his statue? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't dream of it. Then what were you going to do? I wanted to restore the temple. My plan today was to closely examine the temple's current condition and arrange for the purchase of the appropriate materials. I never expected to be targeted halfway by treasure hoarders and forced to flee. But as I ran, I lost my way. As for the rest, you know what happened. Let's speak more at the temple. Right, this is hardly the place for a conversation. Let's go to the temple first. We'll speak there. Go, I have other things to handle. Eh, you're leaving already? And he's gone. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, I guess we're gonna go back to the statue. Okay. Well, this is nice. I guess we have... Oh, goals have aligned. Now, uh, this temple is in a terrible state. Alright, mister, where did you suddenly get the idea to come and fix this temple? Well, that's a long story. Back when I was pretending to be an Adeptus, I gathered a lot of resources to help me keep up the act. But remember how I swore to do good after that Adeptus taught me a lesson? Well, after I returned, I was planning to destroy all those materials of mine. And then I had a thought. Rather than destroying all this information, wouldn't it be better to write up my code of voluntary and share it with others? That way, I can help others to see through scams and cheaters. To my surprise, the guidebook I wrote proved helpful to a lot of people. Even the Ministry of Civil Affairs said it was very useful. <laughs> you know, I mean, at least he did something good out of it. So, did he just write a book? on how to see through scams from a scam artist himself. I mean, at least it's like real, real life experience. You know, just in the other direction. Uh, they even provide me with some additional scam countermeasures to add to the stuff that I've written myself. To that end, they paid me a pretty hefty sum. Apart from that guidebook, I'm currently trying to write a book about the Vigilant Yorkshire. The purpose, of course, is to share the stories of the Vigilant Yorkshire with as many people as possible. That way, I'll be able to put the folklore knowledge I possess to good use. As for this temple, to Pervasis, I discovered it while I was compiling material for the second book. I found sources saying this temple was built by our forebearers to remember the Yaksha Pervasis. I never expected to find the temple in such a state of disrepair. When I returned and thought about it, I decided to fund the repair of this temple from my own pocket. After all, I too was guided back to the right path by an Adeptus. 
I suppose preparing this temple can be considered atonement for my previous wrongdoings. Sounds genuine enough. What do you think? Um, sounds kind of genuine. No, I wanna, I wanna believe him. Now, what do you mean kinda? I am being genuine, 100% genuine. You're fine, think whatever you like. If you don't trust me, then come back once work has started, you'll see. Okay, I think that's, I'm guessing we're gonna come back and check on him to make sure he hasn't started another scam for the next few days. <laughs> but anyway, what do we have to say? Uh, this place really is in terrible state. The pillars are rotten, the planks are broken, at least the statue is still fine. Why hasn't anyone, why hasn't anyone come to fix this place? Okay, so that's done. That's two things down. Um, next, I think the plan was to do the Ryan Shogun quest too. So I think it unlocks a boss. Someone was saying it unlocks a boss. And so, you know, what better to do than unlock the boss? So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Let me see what you said. Uh green eggs and ham. <laughs> you got the ham, then the eggs, now all you need is the green. Oh, oh you said that before I got the eggs. I see, I see. Um, do I have any green? Well I guess we could make the green eggs and ham with at my ingredients bucket. I mean, there, I have a lot of different plants. You can maybe use some cauliflower, that make it green. <laughs> but yeah, no, we do. Actually, wait, what colour are these eggs? Are they already green? Mm, I mean, it's a little bit green. Not really. Not really. <laughs> uh, who better teach you about avoiding scams? I mean, you're not wrong. That is true. Having someone who was a scam artist, they would know exactly how to avoid the scams that they created. But I still feel really bad for- did he- oh no, I think he said he gave money back to the people that he stole from. But um, how did they- how does that work? As in, because surely he already spent some of the money. Or, or did he not? <laughs> okay, let me- okay, yeah, I am. Okay, let me talk to Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Uh, the bear is into green but i'll take it you know what fair enough we do have green eggs and ham <laughs> but i wasn't gonna use them together but that, that's um ad astra abasos Kiko. recently the adventurous guild has received an unusual commission and after careful consideration we believe that the traveler would be the most suitable candidate right ah, indeed as ever i will spare the pleasantries then may i ask if you two are available to help it depends Oh, well, let me go over it briefly. Our client for this job is the Yashiro Commission. Apparently, Rift Hounds are attacking the roots of the sacred Sakura near Mount. You go in great numbers. Rift Hounds on Narukami Island? Yes, we are not sure where exactly these creatures come from, but this time they are attacking in alarming numbers with great aggression and a clear target. Sacred Sakura is of tremendous importance to Inazuma. I trust you are aware of this already. I understand. Uh, good, then you can see this case is very urgent indeed. Is the Temuryo Commission aware? Yes, and they are already taking action of their own. However, given the Sacred Sakura's root system is vast and complex, and faced with the unpredictability and scale of the Rift Hound's attacks, they are finding it difficult to defend against them. The main priority is to protect the civilian population, so they are actively looking to cooperate with all other available forces to eliminate the monsters. The Adventurous Guild is one of the key parties assisting the Temuryo Commission with their work, but so far the combined efforts to combat the Rift Hounds has failed to, substanti to substantially ameliorate the situation. Time to make some whelps yelp. <laughs> you have our greatest, deepest gratitude. Your confident response put me far, puts me far more at ease. I'll mark on your map the areas where Rift Hound appearances have been recently reported. I hope you won't ruin Hounds had too much trouble overcoming them. Uh, relax, we'll be back before you can say add Astra Abasosk. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I guess we're gonna go and get rid of some monsters. Okay, uh, where exactly am I going? Oh, okay, down there. Uh, this is probably the quickest way to get there. Maybe. Oh well, <laughs> that's the way I've chosen. Um, well, that's gonna bug me. Um, one thing I have noticed is there is a new system for the um, gadget so now I can swap easily between them so we can have Sarush with us and then if I need to pick up a plant we can we can swap to uh, the plant thing the seed dispensary and then if I need to glide somewhere I can use the faster glider fan thing and if I find a pet I want to capture we can use the whatever those net things are called yeah see 
so much more convenient now and I'm quite excited about this because a lot of the time I can't keep Sarush because I need to keep something else but now I can do a quick swap it should be a lot better anyway uh, we're just defeating these things I think I got well that one's almost down because the other guy is dealing with it oh reinforcements okay fine okay, let's get rid of those you know what, let's use this and let's also use this uh, that should that should do a lot of damage, and hopefully. Oh, uh, there are so many of them. No one of the Tamriel Commission needed help. Wait, there's more. Oh gosh, why are there so many? That's like round three, I think. Okay, well, it's gonna be okay. We can just okay. Turns out there are a lot of them, but they're not that difficult. Torn to oblivion. Oh, the Archon is here. Uh, Shogun, wait, no, could also be A. That is you two. Oh, the Shogun. Uh, it has been a long time. Wait, no, A. It has been a long time. We have not seen each other since the resolution of the Temu Commission crisis. Okay, sounds more like A. It is you, right? You sure made short work of them. That was amazing. Uh, what are you doing here? I'm making early preparations for what is to come. Last time we took a walk around Nazma together, I witnessed the way the world is today. I finally. I was finally able to comprehend some things that I had never understood in the past. Since then, every time I encounter an obstacle in my thinking, I find myself having the urge to spend some time in the outside world. Makes sense, you must get super bored being stuck in there all the time. And might I remind you that I am not here to amuse myself. Recently, I have observed a number of changes in the external world from the plane of leukemia, most serious of them being the attack on the sacred Sakura by numerous rift hands. I consider this matter worthy of my attention, so I pursued them, and they led me here, where I happened to run into you. Uh doesn't but the commissions and adventurers can deal with monsters if the shogun rather than i always discover them yes perhaps she would have left the situation alone hmm. why because she's just a puppet precisely according to the rules i designed for her matters of this nature are to be delegated to the tri commission the rift hounds attacking the sacred sakura brings back bad memories of that terrible disaster a disaster yes 500 years ago a great catastrophe befell in azuma Everything was engulfed in a pitch black fog and mountains ravaged the land. Countless lives were lost and this homeland that the people had worked so hard to build barely escaped being obliterated entirely. The monsters committed many atrocities on Inazuman soil and the Rift Hounds were always there. Advance guard. The duty was to tear open a passage through space with their claws and teeth and then call in even more powerful beasts. Conria? Ooh. Okay, that sounds like deep, deep plot. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, mm, so you've heard of it too, huh? That's an episode of history that I am loath to recall. Maybe to you it seems like my response to these creatures was an excessive one. But an ex excess of caution is not unwarranted in this case. Guess you can't argue with that. Since you're both here for the same reason, let us work together. From the traces they left in the surrounding area, there should be many more monsters nearby. All of them must be eliminated. Let's go. You don't feel so safe when we're in A's company. Having someone you were powerful on your team kind of makes you feel invincible, doesn't it? Oh yeah, after we've dealt with the monsters, we should ask her to tell us more about Kamriya. Think about the colour so being something when the Sakura takes damage. I don't even know what that means. Oh, is it this blue stuff? I mean This is this is a mark, is that not maybe there's, there's more than one. Maybe I just have to like go and walk next to them. Oh okay, yeah. I see there's something over here. Oh, Oh, I see. We're gonna follow the we're gonna follow the trail of like blue, blue goo. Okay. Oh, and it goes up here. Oh, what color is it? I thought it was. Oh, I guess it's still blue. Okay. Um. We gotta go. No, that's just a wall. I thought it was gonna be like a well. But where are we going? Wait, did I not trigger that one? I think I did. Okay. Uh... Where? Where next? Oh, okay. There's another, another one. Okay. Oh, try to figure out what happened. We are lucky. The damage is not too serious. The Yashiro Commission will be able to nerf the root system back to health. The stuff that's flowing out is it sap or something? And how come it's glowing? Oh, it is glowing. Huh? 
Oh, what's this? Is someone injured? Could they be dead people? It wouldn't be the first time we'd see ghosts on our journey. Why would they appear here? Let's search the area, perhaps we will find out. Ugh. Ugh. I can't go on like this, not when the other troops are counting on me. What happened here? Could you tell us? Uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Run quick while you still can, the monsters will be back. And once you're in their sight, I'm telling you there's no escaping them. We will defend Inazuma until our dying breath. Ah, uh, what happened? You don't know, Inazuma is engulfed in darkness. Beasts and horrifying monsters are everywhere. They are merciless, ferocious, and they will devour everything in their path. Every last trace of humanity's existence, I tell you they'll devour it all. But look, none of the that seems to be going on around here. Not right now, but they'll be back. Look, get out of here now, there's no time left. Your mighty shogun is gone, so is Kitsu Saigu. There's no one left to rely on but ourselves. I don't know how long we can hold out for, but if we abandon our hope, then we've got nothing left to do at all. No, don't worry, I am right here. It's the shogun? You're back! Please, we beg you, you have to help us, you have to save Inazuma. Only the glow of your supreme lightning can dispel this terrible darkness. Please, or the whole of Inazuma will be reduced to a hunting ground for the beasts. Calm down, the war you speak of is over. Over? But what do you mean, shogun? Look around you. The grass grows green and lush, and a soft breeze blows. This is Inazuma, a peace as you will no doubt remember. There are no more monsters, nor is there anything else here that could threaten your life. Hmm. But how? Just moments ago, they were everywhere. I saw them tear my comrade to shreds with my own eyes. But hey, calm down. Everything's fine now. I think I understand, Almighty Shogun, you saved Inazuma. Yes, you're right to place our trust in the Almighty Shogun. As long as the Shogun is with us, Inazuma will last for an eternity. Thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you, thank you. What, what's wrong with him? Is he disappearing? He's gone. Paimon can't even begin to understand what that was all about, but somehow Paimon feels all sad and hopeless. If I'm not mistaken, what we just saw was a samurai's memory that was buried in the land. The naked Sakura can absorb and purify the filth in the ley lines. After the Rift Hands attacked, some of the filth leaked out through the cracks in the trunk and formed a physical entity. An entity formed with strong filth would be highly aggressive, but when purified, it presents in the form of a memory. Purified filth quickly dissipates and will be absorbed by the ley lines shortly afterwards. In other words, it cannot exist for too long. Aha! The same thing that happened to Dusky Ming. The memories of the ones that died are all appearing at this moment. Yes, that soldier was one of the many thousands who made the ultimate sacrifice. What he was describing just now was precisely the disaster that happened in Inazuma 500 years ago. You mentioned the Shogun was absent. Yes, Inazuma was facing many great crises at that time. Now, some were local in origin, while others, others came from the now fallen kingdom of Conria. Disaster Inazuma caused me great concern. I felt I had to step in before it was too late, otherwise it would spread to all of Tavat. My friend Kitsun Saigu reassured me I had nothing to worry about. She would shoulder the responsibility of protecting Inazuma and mobilize all forces at her disposal to combat the threat. threat. I could tell that although neither of us acknowledged it, we both knew the road ahead would likely end in tragedy. Though Inazuma was attacked at the same time as when the disaster happened in Cumbria. Indeed, countless monsters suddenly appeared throughout all of Inazuma. In the end, Kitsun Saigu sacrificed her life to protect the people. I never had the chance to see her one last time, but I would like to believe she kept her promise to me until the very last. But even then, Inazuma was left more devastated than we could have ever imagined. These terrible tragedies left great wounds that are still felt to the day, both on the land itself and in my heart. Hey, is this the loss that Ye Miko mentioned? Yes. For the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to face the pain of that loss. All my martial might was in vain. Though I could conquer Tatragami and Vanquish monsters, I was helpless against the ravages of time, powerless to keep the ones I cherished alive. But after my clash with human ambition, I thought long and hard, and I realised I cannot fixate on the past forever. Oh, so you no longer suck in the past. When I travelled around in Azza with you, I caught a glimpse of how the nation has progressed over the centuries, a glimpse of human potential. Everything far exceeded my expectations. Moving forward inevitably invites further loss, but also new encounters. Just think of that soldier. Despite all the losses he experienced, he still chose to keep fighting for the sake of moving forwards. All those who sacrificed themselves back then gave their lives fighting for a future, but perhaps the future they were looking for is not the eternity that I once drove for. That's what being human is about. As an answer was God, it is high time I honoured their wishes. Warriors of the past who spilled your blood in this, on this land, your noble souls now rest in this earth. I will never forget you and all that you did for Inazuma. Are you taking all this pretty hard? Come on, let's keep investigating the damage to the sacred Sakura. Okay, that was a lot of dialogue. Um, let me see what you guys said. Um, they're here for you, Keiko. 
Of course they are. Why are the monsters always here for me? Very inconvenient. Um, oh, Subtitlin's here. Hello, welcome, welcome. Good to see you. Uh, I, yeah, uh, Child of Peace was right. It is the Ride of Shogun 2. I think I said that's what I was going to do today, so that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> um, oh, hydrate. Okay, let me, let me have some water. He's moving on. Oh, yes, he is. He could finally rest. Now Inaz he knows Inazuma is safe. I think that's quite nice that we managed to tell him that as he faded away. And that's a nice thing to see as you move on. Okay, you're up to 1990 seeds. Oh. Okay. <laughs> very ominous, very ominous. Um, oh, hello! Kenpachi. Kenpachi? Kenpachi. Hello, welcome, welcome! Um, welcome to the stream. I think we're doing... Well, we are doing the Raiden Shogun 2 story quest. It's also the only one I can do today because uh, I got caught <laughs> by the server maintenance. So I did three out of four commissions yesterday. So I'm up to seven out of eight commissions for a story key. So after that, we'll be doing something else. <laughs> um, 20 hydrates. No child of peace, do not give them any ideas. This is not a good thing. <laughs> That's too many hydrates. <laughs> uh, looks like a pro gamer. Oh. Thank you. I don't really know what I'm doing like 90% of the time, so... But I'm glad I give the appearance, illusion of competency. It's always good when that happens. Oh! Well that was quick. As expected, there are lots of rift towns here too. Even to me. I was always expecting to suddenly become the Ryan Shogun, but okay, this is it's fine. Okay, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep pressing the button. That that's how this is gonna work. Um, oh, this is ready. We can press that as well. And then, okay. There, where are the others? Oh, here's the mark. Let me just do that. Okay, well that killed one of them. Oh, <laughs> and the Sakura got collected. That's also good. Oh, what are we? A new person? Oh, who are we talking to? Uh, something seems wrong with eight. Are you feeling okay? Uh, why would you ask that? Well, usually you'd pull out your sword and swish and vaporize them all in one go, no? You are unduly concerned. I'm simply conserving my energy. Although I have some understanding of the situation already, it could take an unexpected turn at any time. I must be prepared for anything. If there are more formidable monsters lying in wait in this area, I must make sure I have the strength to face them. Ah, makes sense. Spoken like a seasoned shogun. The roots seem pretty badly damaged this time. We definitely need to tell the Ashray Commission about this. Uh -huh. Hey, the same light is leaking out again. Is it the same situation as before? Uh, Furuyama, is that you? Hmm? Almighty Shogun, what brings you back so soon? I thought you were off, fighting a battle in a distant land. Uh, fighting a battle in a distant land? Sounds like this guy is talking about 500 years ago too. Allow me to introduce Furuyama. He is a team master and a member of my retinue. retinue. The blind Furuyama is unparalleled in his ability to appraise tea. He brews some of the fine, very finest tea in all of Inazuma. Your Excellency, you shower me with praise undeserved. I have simply had the good fortune to be in Your Excellency's presence long enough to become acquainted with all the skills that are required of me. Sounds like the Almighty Shogun has brought a guest. I'm afraid I am unable to, I am unable to serve you any respectable refreshments on account of the current situation. But please sit and rest. After all, it's quite a mess out there. Uh, what should we do? Let's go along with what he says. Um, yeah, sheesh. There's monsters everywhere out there. It's pitch black, and loads of people have been injured. I see, so they have fought their way this far already. Most of the residents in this neighbourhood have already escaped. They wanted to take me with them, but it seemed rather pointless to me, so I decided to stay. Now the Almighty Shogun is here, I have even less reason to run away. Imagine if this was something that even the Almighty Shogun was powerless to resolve. Where could I possibly run to then? And how come you're not panicking? People flee out of a desire to live on, and the desire to live on stems from a feeling of having unfinished business in life. For me, I have no such thoughts, and I have no regrets. The Almighty Shogun often speaks to me about her dreams over tea. Just listening to her stories, ah, I've been blind for many years, but her vivid descriptions took me on a splendid journey to all the most beautiful places in Inazuma. Over time, I've come to understand her mindset. Quite the romantic at heart, a true dreamer. One thing she always says is good things don't last forever. Everything changes, fades, disappears completely over the passage of time. And so people must make the most of life, most of the life they have, seize the chance to enjoy it while it lasts, and have no regrets in the end. Um... That doesn't sound like her. So you see, as bleak as things may be now, I have experienced countless wonderful things in life and have no reason not to be satisfied. Perhaps you are right. 
It won't be long now before I have to say goodbye to the Almighty Shogun for the last time. Ah, what a pity I'll never get to see what Inazuma looks like after the Almighty Shogun rebuilt it anew. But I suppose it doesn't matter. Everyone says Inazuma has turned dark now, but to me it went dark a long time ago. Once this catastrophe is over, life is sure to spring forth anew. But even if I survive until then, I'd probably be a hopelessly befuddled old so-and-so by then. Ah, so never mind. Hmm. Oh goodness me, speaking of befuddled, look at me rambling away to my heart's content and forgetting to serve the tea. The mighty shogun comes to visit and I don't have the tea ready. A truly egregious loss of decorum. One moment I'll just, hmm, where in the world is the tea set? I hope the others didn't smash it to smithereens in their hasty departure. But I can't see a tea set anywhere around here. Really? But it's always been right by my side. Goodness gracious, what a fool I'm making of myself. Uh, we know where to find a tea set. I couldn't possibly have my guests fetch it themselves, that would be most discourteous indeed. Don't worry about it, take a rest, we'll be back right away. Mighty Shogun, you're not going too, are you? No, 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 your humble servant implores you, not with the war raging outside. This place is complicated. It's quite unlike the tea house in your memories. Leave it to us. Uh, but, well, okay, I never thought I'd see the day that I need the Almighty Shogun to personally collect my tea set for me. I can't decide whether it's a final regret or a final stroke of good fortune. Oh, we are actually going to go to the tea set. I thought he was going to disappear. But apparently he's been waiting 500 years to make this tea. So we got to we got to get him a tea set. <laughs> okay, um, somewhere over here. Uh, <laughs> How do I talk with that cute voice? That's, that's just my voice. <laughs> There's nothing here. If this, if you're talking about like, this is literally just what I sound like. There is no voice change. I wouldn't even know how to use a voice changer. I am simultaneously very good at technology and terrible. <laughs> I live in that weird middle zone. Okay, I need to fight for a whole day to kill that monster's low level player. Ah. <laughs> Skip all these stories, it needs a lot of tolerance to read the captions. You know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. I just... Okay, he was a completionist. Yeah. See, I can't... <laughs> I can't not do the quest. I gotta do them all eventually. So, you know. And I can't just not read the dialogue, because what if I miss something? So that's why I read all of the dialogue. <laughs> it takes a while. But then I get to understand what's going on, and I think that makes the experience better. And then I think like Child of Peace doesn't play, so Child of Peace can vaguely understand what's going on if I read all the dialogue. And anyone who skipped the quest will now know what's going on, because I read the dialogue for like 10 minutes. <laughs> um, you two are a hopelessly befuddled old so and so. You know what? Me too. I, me three. I am also a hopelessly befuddled old so and so. That was very... that hit a bit close to home. <laughs> Ooh! Oh, that's what you were saving up for. Hyphen on Twitch. Uh... Wait, that's the one... So you want me to follow the soft hyphen that's actually called soft hyphen, right? And I will do that. <laughs> in fact, if you happen to be logged in, I can do it now. Because if I see it pop up, then I can click it. But yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Anyway, um, it's the Traveller and the Almighty Shogun. How might I be of assistance, Your Excellency? I wish to borrow a tea set from the Yashiro Commission. Oh, uh, sure, I'll fetch that for you right away. Uh, please step into the courtyard and have a rest, Almighty Shogun. Oh, and I'll inform my lord about your visit immediately. Ah, and the tea set, I'll bring that here as soon as it's ready. Giddies, I'm not here to see Commissioner Kamisato. Actually, I prefer to spend this time chatting with the Traveller. Please fetch the tea set at your convenience. No, 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 I'm your humble servant. I don't think of my own convenience when the almighty Shogun graces me with her presence. I'll deal with it right away. Uh, well, it's not often we have the chance to chat. I'm sure you must have a lot of questions. Was it really you that the tea master used to serve? Right, Paimon wanted to ask that too. The almighty Shogun that he described didn't sound like anything like you at all. I seldom had the time to drink tea. Any free time I had was spent practicing martial arts. But in the vast majority of cases, the one he made tea for was the former electric archon, who was also my sister, Raiden Miku. Makoto. He may well have had an inkling about there being two Raiden Shoguns, but he always acted as if he was completely unaware of it. The philosophy of life that he shared with us just now, that was Makoto's view of reality. She always saw things that way. But you and Makoto had pretty different views, huh? Indeed we did. It was the biggest difference between us. In our eyes, the most precious things in the world were dreams, the yearning for a better future held by living beings. Dreams are, in other words, ambitions. They are similar, but not identical. When you came charging into the plane of Euthymia, I saw human aspirations light up the sky far above in the form of countless stars. 
This somewhat shook me. Now it seems that she was right, while I took the wayward path. Wow, there was sure was a lot going on beneath the surface. The Makoto saw a bigger picture than I did. In her view, a dream is more imaginary, more abstract than an ambition. An ambition is a yearning for something material or a concrete outcome. It is finite in nature and will be replaced by a new ambition in due course. Makoto was more concerned with the force that drives humanity to constantly generate new ambitions in the first place. It's something innate, rooted in instinct, in other words, it's something eternal. That's uh, quite a lot to take in. Now, to put it simply, Makoto wasn't concerned about outcomes. I didn't understand at the time, how can we say that we are maintaining eternity when things are constantly moving forward and evolving? I suppose when it comes down to it, what it comes down to is the definition of eternity she set out with. It's more in line with how humans view the world. Yes, it does. I always thought that she must have grasped some elusive arcane wisdom to arrive at the conclusion she did. But in the last analysis, Makoto's philosophy was, on the surface at least, an elegant, simple one. Notwithstanding that it was also the more prudent choice, based on a more mature, far-sighted outlook. Do you feel starting to understand her better now? You have already witnessed my previous views on eternity, but now I no longer cling to what was lost. I suppose that means our differences have been reconciled. Almighty Shogun, I found a tea set. This one in particular should be fit for your excellency's use. It's quite beautiful. Thank you. Uh, you are too kind. A humble servant such as I does not deserve the gratitude of the Almighty Shogun. It's all good, sir. She's actually pretty chill. Let us return. We ought not to keep Horiyama waiting too long. Oh! Thank you, Kenpachi, for the follow. Thank you. <laughs> I do appreciate it. Um, I didn't hear it ding, though. So, Child of Peace, did my thing, like, work correctly? Did it flash on the screen? Because if that's broken, I need to fix that later. I don't know why it would be broken, but usually I hear the ding. But maybe my volume's just too low today, I just didn't hear it. But yeah, thank you for following. Thank you. I do, I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy whatever is going on here. Um, it's usually a bit of a mess, but uh, yeah. Okay, let me let me go back over here so we can give the guys tea set. Uh, no, okay. Well, that's not good. Give me like two seconds. Let me just click a button and see if it does anything. Okay, it's supposed to be working. Are you working? Eh, I don't know. Oh well. <laughs> maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. <laughs> At least I noticed it. Sometimes I don't notice and I always feel terrible when I don't realise until like half an hour later. But this time, I did notice. Okay, um... I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna start some foolery. Right. Interesting, interesting. I sure hope that doesn't... That's unrelated foolery that does not involve me. <laughs> well, I will enjoy any foolery, but uh, I'm hoping it's not. Chaos. <laughs> okay, uh, hey, where'd he go? He wouldn't have gone looking for a tea set himself, would he? Wouldn't put it past him. Or perhaps the ley lines did not have the power to sustain him for very long, as was the case with the memory we saw earlier. So we won't get to drink his tea? We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. The information held in the ley lines is complex and disorderly. The fact that we were able to meet him to begin with was a miracle of fate. Hmm. Uh, you know what? We can make our own tea. Well, this chance won't come often, and we do have a tea set. Perhaps I should try my hand at making us a pot of tea. I've watched Fariyama brew tea on many occasions. I doubt I should have any major problems doing it myself. Okay, she brews piping hot tea with the tea set. Uh, the tea is ready. Please give it a try. Okay, so I have heard that she cannot cook. Like, straight up, she cannot use a stove. So, <laughs> I'm a little bit apprehensive of her tea. Because I don't know if tea making falls under cooking or not. But... It might be terrible. <laughs> uh, ooh, what else has happened? Oh! Linatin! Read up my content hope you continue this Genshin journey until you reach endgame and after. Oh, thank you! That's a really nice message. Okay, I don't know if it popped up on the screen, but that's a really nice message. Thank you. <laughs> Aww. Aww. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, so many thoughts are racing through my head as I was brewing it. I'm not sure how to explain it. Uh, you don't need to. I understand. You're right, but the things we've seen today have brought back many memories for me. I've been reminded of many people too, Kitsun Saigu, Makoto, and all the other friends whom I watched past even further back. Back at the Yashiro Commission, I kept the conversation reasonably lighthearted, but now I'd like to broach a heavier topic, if I may. The events of 500 years ago were not, on not only robbed me of my friend Kitsun Saigu, they also took Makoto away from me for good. She died in that disaster too. But yes, she went to Kumria alone without telling me. Unlike me, Makoto was a martial artist. Whenever similar crises had arisen in the past, I was always the one to face them in her stead. 
At this time, the circumstances were so grave that Makoto had no choice but to leave me behind. Or perhaps it was more that she went ahead of me, put herself in front of me so that I would remain hidden. In any case, by the time I realised what was happening... Yes, it was too late. I arrived only in time to hear her dying breath. She had already lapsed into unconsciousness by that point, so all I could do was enter into her mind. As far as you are concerned, it would be somewhere similar to the plane of Euthymia. It was there that we bid each other a final farewell. I cried bitterly. Even in those final moments, I couldn't understand her actions. Why did you go to Conria first, and not I? Why did she keep me in the dark about it? Was it to shield me? It was there and then that I resolved to pursue eternity. As a testament to that decision, I saved her realm of consciousness just before it collapsed completely and brought it back to Inazuma. That's quite a story. When I returned to Inazuma, I was shocked to find that a great Sakura tree had appeared on Mount Hugo, the tree that you know as the Sacred Sakura. Wait, it hasn't always been there? That's exactly what everyone back then told me as well, that it had existed since time immemorial. They were so matter-of-fact about it and couldn't at all understand what I was so surprised about. No one questioned it, and yet its presence contrasted so starkly with the area as I remembered it. It seemed as if I was the only one to have noticed it appear suddenly out of thin air. In the end, I simply had to accept it was a miraculous effect of Makoto's consciousness. With the help of the sacred Sakura's power, I was finally able to overcome the monsters and quell the disaster in Inazuma. This is already hard to understand, kind of beyond Paimon's level. He put Makoto's power somehow made the tree appear. Yes, she had such a great love for this land and for its people, is this respect in this respect I still do not compare to her. I once told myself I would never speak of these events again, facing the fact that she is gone is unbearably painful. Even the tea set that is most bitter to the tongue once swallowed leaves some sweetness in the throat. And it's time I came to terms with it all. Uh, it seems you've done a lot of thinking about this already. Oh, um, well, we're on the topic since you experienced that battle in person. Have you seen my brother before? My brother? Hmm. I had heard that you were looking for your family. You mean to say that he was somehow involved in the Conria disaster? Based on what we've learned so far, it seems so, yeah. I'm sorry I wasn't there for the whole thing. By the time I arrived, the worst of the fighting was already over. And also my mind was consumed entirely with the plight of Anasma and the fate of those closest to me. I'm afraid I can't help you. Oh, well that's a shame, but it can't be helped, I guess. Boy, both of you have experienced great tragedy. With this last cup of tea, let us honour the tea master's memory. Thank you, Destiny, for giving us the chance to meet again. Okay, let me observe the tea. A cup of tea has been left to- f Oh, we left it behind! Oh, how much did he actually perceive? How much did he let on? Oh, that's nice. Thanks for watching everyone. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. If you'd like to see me play live, then check out my Twitch channel. You can find me on Wednesdays and Sundays at 8pm GMT. Thanks again and have a great day!